Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two really nice mod packs review for you guys. Both of these are made by Iconic. He actually made these for me, those tippers and those semis down there with my channel logo on it. And he's allowing me to share them with my viewers. So thank you very much, Mr. Iconic. I really appreciate that. And what I'm going to do, guys, is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will test most of these out and we'll take a look and see how they perform. So let's take a look. All right, guys, we're going to start on over here with the semi pack. Uh, there's two different semis included in this pack, the Warrior and the Hulk. Both are modded up, both are multicolor. This is the iconic Nick the Hick semi pack version 1.1. File size for this is 23.9 megabytes. We're going to start on over here with the Hulk first. The Hulk only comes in one engine size. The power is 445 kilowatts and 605 horsepower, so it's definitely powerful. Price in the shop as is $138,000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. It has a max speed of 165 kilometers an hour. Like I said, it is multicolor. There's a hitch option you can choose from in the shop. Three different wheel choices and three design choices. So let's go over to the shop and we'll take a look at that under semis. There is the two of them there. We'll start with the Hulk. Like I said, $138,000. You got different configurations as well as the multicolor. You can take it with or without the hitch. Wheel brand, you have Lizard, Nokian, and Trelleborg. The wheel setups, you have wide tires. Depends what uh, wheel brand you take. There's a few different ones to choose from there. And this is what I like. You can take it in plain with the Nick the Hick logo or with Papa Smurf's farm on it. Some of you will be familiar with Papa Smurf. He's in our crew now. We actually do multiplayer Let's Plays together. So he actually uh, got this for me from Iconic. So I really appreciate that. So yeah, Papa Smurf Farms. Then back to playing again. So let's go back. And we'll jump inside. Let's take a look around at it first. Oh, There's my new logo he made for me. Very nice. I think he did a fantastic job with that. Really like it. This is in gold. There's a nice palette of colors to choose from. You can lower that third axle as well. Let's jump inside, set it on up. Test out a few things. Lights. One, two. Just on and off. How are our reverse lights? They're just great. Oh, it says the hick on the nice license plate. I didn't notice that before. That's cool. And I'm from Nova Scotia. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I did not see that before. I like it. Okay, signal lights, or go, hazards, yes, no beacons on this guy, no. Okay, so let's try out the horn, very nice, let's take a look inside the cab now guys, nice looking interior. Bring my HUD here and we'll see what we can get out of this. Stick to the road, just great. Looks like we're going to get the 165. I'm just kind of curious if it's going to go beyond that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. If I can actually be nice straight on uh, end of the road. <laughs> Looks like it's going to get there. All right, next up we have a modded version of the Warrior. So there is only one engine size for this. It's the same as the other one. 445 kilowatts and 605 horsepower. Very powerful. Price in the shop is 110000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. Has a max speed of 165 kilometers an hour, same as the other one. This is multicolor as well. You have the hitch option in the shop, as well as three tire choices you can choose from. And three different design choices. Now, let's go over and take a look at that. Under trucks. There is the warrior there. You can take it to the plane, Nick the Hick, or Papa Smurf. Very nice. You can take it with the Y tires, depending on what wheel brand you get, you get more options here. So, very nice. Let's go check that out. Take a little walk around here. Yeah, it looks good in the crimson. Once again, it has the decals on the door. It has the 
Hick license plate on it. I love that. That's awesome. All right, so let's jump inside. We'll start it on up. All right, let's test some lights. We have one, two, three light settings. Try out some signal lights. No problem. Hazards are a goal. How about reverse lights? Very nice. And the beeper. Okay, let's get rid of those lights. Wrap around to the front here again. I don't believe there's beacons on this, is there? Let's try those lights again. Are they? Yeah, okay, they light up too up top. Good. Let's try out the horn. Very nice. Okay, inside the cab. Let's bring up the HUD here. Oh, I hit cruise control. Nice looking interior. It's right on the steering wheel. How did I not see that before? Pedals moving on the floor. Very nice. Oh, that's cool, man. You did such a good job with this. Fantastic. Mirrors all work. Nice. This one seems to be a little bit quicker on the, uh, at the start. Doesn't take as long to build up speed, it seems. Looks like it's going to get up to that speed, no problem. Alright guys, next up we got this really nice tipper pack here that includes 10 different tippers. Like I said, when you download this, you don't have to unzip it or anything, but it's going to be a list of them in the tipper section. This is the iconic Nick the Hick tipper pack version 3.1. File size for this is 49.1 megabytes. There's 10 different tippers in this pack, guys. Three in which have uh, my channel logos on, I really like. And they're all modded to hold a whole lot more, too. They're all multicolor as well, with a very nice palette of colors to choose from. So we'll take a little look around at these first before I go over to the shop, because I won't be able to test every one of them out. But yeah, very nice. He did a super job on that. He made that for my channel banner. He made me a few of them, actually. Let's take a look at this one. That looks so good in yellow really like that I do believe some of them say the mod father on the back check it out that wagon man that looks so nice that got that uh, chrome look to it very well done very well made and like I said they can hold all kinds too okay so let's go over to the shop tipper section up here about halfway and they're gonna start here you can tell it says iconic right up here so we got the smallest one here we'll take a quick go through all these this holds 4,000 liters it's multicolor as well you can change the capacity of this I like these little trailers because you can do that capacity 8,000 you can see it adds a layer each time you press that 12,000 liters and then you can use it as a bail loading wagon as well so that thing's pretty handy okay so yeah, there's basically two of each down here. One's got the solid connection here, and the other one has like the wagon set up, so the axle turns when you turn. So yeah, like I said, it's multicolor. You can change your wheels here and your tire setup, and this is ready to hold 25,000 liters. This is a side tipper. 35,000 it holds. It is multicolor as well. I like that, that you can change the individual colors on that. It's really cool. Nice. Okay. So, back again. That holds 35,000. We got this guy here. Holds 50,000. Holds all that stuff too, guys. So, that's really cool. Let's take a quick look at this guy. Standard wheel setups. We got our wheel brands. Now we're coming into the three that he has modded with my logo on the side. There was the red one we were looking at, the yellow one. And then we got the full size one down here. And look at this, guys. This guy can hold 5 million liters. This guy holds a million. A million for that one as well. Okay guys, let's go ahead and we'll test out these three. Like I said, I can't test out all 10. We'll be here forever, but they all are very nice and they all are modded to hold quite a bit. But we'll test these out and see how they perform. 
Okay guys, we have our Nick the Hick semi and tipper ready to go here. We call that a hicker. <laughs> when we do our let's plays, we say, bring the hicker over. Alright, let's jump inside and we'll fill this up with as much as we can. I don't know if I have that much in storage, but we'll certainly check it out. I just think he did a fantastic job. And I'm very grateful. And I'm glad he's allowing me to share it with you guys, so thank you very much. Okay, it looks like we're going to have enough to fill that bin. Good. So this holds 150,000 liters. I'm not sure if you can change the capacities of these bigger ones or not, but... Yeah, that's what the, why it said 150k on there. Okay, let's bring up that toolbar for a second. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Okay, let's fill this guy up. Might as well put the same thing in there. There's all kinds of it. Very nice. Let's throw the lid on that, or the cover I should say. And let's take this for a drive and see how she handles. Okay, let's get some speed going here. You can feel the weight of that, that's for sure, but that's 150,000 liters. It's quite a bit. Slowly building up speed getting there all right oh that didn't take long at all you keep empty that one. Oh, that on un that unloads super fast that's awesome very nice Alright, we have our other semi here, all done up in gold, hooked up to our other tipper. This one will hold a million liters, so let's try him out. Let's look at the back here again. A hundred thousand, it says. Okay, guys, let's go fill this up. I think this only holds a hundred thousand liters. It says a million over there in the shop, but... that fit in there? Oh, good. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's fill this up. Okay guys, for some reason the product's not showing up in this trailer just by looking at it. It's actually going in there, but it's not showing up. I think it's just this map. This is the uh, Sherwood Park Farm map. And yeah, when it's going in there, it's not showing. But you can see it actually going in down in the bottom right. But for some reason it's not visible inside the tipper. But I know we use this over on our Western Australia map and it worked just fine. So... Just to let you know, and this thing empties quite fast too. This is side tipper, so you will have to pull up like this to be able to tip it. But watch down the bottom right, you'll see it unload. So it did go back in there. Okay guys, we're all hooked up to this one. This one holds 75,000. Got that really nice shine on it too. And it these really nice uh, doors on the top, these covers. Kind of like a screen. Press N to retract them. Very nice. I love that uh, chrome look. It's very shiny. There we go. Yeah, it's showing up in there. So it may be just that tipper. I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty sure we used that over on uh, the Western Australia map. And it worked just fine. But it's just not showing up inside. It still works. Oh, there's the Mod Father on the back. Check that out, guys. That's awesome love it yeah what a great job he did and it's an honor to add these to my gameplay really appreciate that man I think he did a smashing job and I can't wait to share these with my viewers whoa look how fast that emptied very nice 
So there you have it, guys. That was the iconic Nick the Hick semi pack version 1.1 and the iconic Nick the Hick tipper pack version 3.1. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick, then hit subscribe and the bell, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.